though your practice sucks, that's okay. Mine did too, until I realised that there were certain really, to be quite frankly, annoyingly simple things <laughs> that I could do to make it easier, to make it more efficient, to make it just work better for me, and also sometimes be enjoyable. The first thing I realised I needed to do was to prep my practice space. And whilst having a dedicated practice room is the dream, it is not a current reality for me. So I have a little end of my living room that I set up and it's all good to go for me to practice. It is always ready. I always have my music up on the stand here and I just have it ready to go. So all I need to do is get my viola out and go. If I could have somewhere to leave my viola out of its case, that would be even better. But you know, I have a dog that likes chewing sticks. But having this dedicated area of your house or your room, whatever you can manage, just means that you can get into the headspace of practice so much more easily because your brain knows that when you are in that place, that is what you're there to do. Number two is practicing with a metronome. Don't fear that this will impact your musicality negatively. It will actually do the complete opposite. Good musicality is so often built on good rhythm. And so if your rhythm and your tempos and all these kind of things are a little bit out of whack, you're never gonna achieve that kind of performance that you're really, really looking for. The metronome is also a really, really good tool when you're just kind of not really feeling it and maybe you're struggling to lock into that more kind of musical, freer, more expressive side, do some metronome work because that will lead to that expressive side being so much more easy to tap into. The third thing is to begin your practice after your warm ups and whatever with a practicing technique. Now, sorry not sorry because it's one of those things that is actually so much easier to do when you're not kind of feeling it you're just like oh I, you know i've got to practice i don't really want to doing something that is quite academic in a way can really really help you just get into that mindset it also helps your muscles just kind of remember what you're there to do and also i mean which one of us doesn't need to practice technique i mean really Number four is to minimize the distractions. I have a setting on my phone, which I've titled work because I generally use it when I'm in rehearsals, but it's also really, really good for practice times because all notifications are muted apart from my diary service, my mum and my husband, because I actually get more distracted. If I completely turn off my phone and put it away, the back of my brain starts ever so slightly stressing that I'm either missing out on work from my diary service or if anything, you know, if there's an emergency or anything happens with family, I want them to be able to tell me there and then. So I just have that face down to the side, but if it goes off, I will know about it. And that has been probably the single biggest game changer for me because like I say, I used to turn my phone off put it away, do all of the things that you're told to do, but I actually found that way more distracting. So try it out. Obviously I have an iPhone, so that's the setting on that I can do on that. I'm sure Android has an equivalent. And just have a little play around and just see what works for you, but you don't actually need to put your phone away completely. And then my final tip, number five, is to just take your time. It is so much harder to unlearn something and then relearn it than it would have been to just learn it correctly in the first place. So take your time. And I know this is tricky, especially when you maybe don't have a lot of time. Maybe you've got an audition coming up. Maybe you've had like a last minute call up for a gig. Rushing that process will actually make it take longer in the long run. So take your time and focus on the things that you know you're gonna need to. You may find that you don't actually need to practice those really, really fast sections because that's actually a strength of yours, but what you do need to practice are those tricky shifts. So just focus on the tricky shifts. Trust your skill in the fast passages or whatever it might be. That way, you'll actually use your time so much more effectively and you'll be practicing how you need to, not how everyone else tells you you may. Short and sweet one today. I really, really hope that has helped you. If you're really finding that you're getting stuck in a rut and every practice session you do seems to feel like it's not going anywhere, watch this video here. I go into a lot of detail on what you can do on those days when practice just isn't happening. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.